Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you about lettering on the iPad using Procreate. Using Procreate, I'm going to teach you how to master lettering as well as some useful tips on Procreate. First, open the canvas from the screen size. Add the layer and choose a brush. Use the script brush in calligraphy. This time, I'm going to use the brush that I created since it's almost the same. I just wrote this roughly. You can too, but let me teach you a tip. From the top left, choose the drawing guide and switch it on. What this does is display grids on the canvas. If you draw on the grid, it turns out nice. You can even tweak the settings. If you edit the drawing guide, you can change the width opacity, size, and even color. Change the settings according to your preferences and tap OK to return. We are going to begin drawing with the grid lines displayed. Using the grid lines allow you to be conscious of the baseline of the letters so you can avoid slanting of your handwriting. I draw it too big, so I'm going to click the arrow selection tool to adjust the size. If you want to change the size of the dot in the eye, Use the selection tool on the top left. Once you select it, tap the move button next to it and you'll be able to move and change the size freely. Long tapping and dragging it allows you to change the position of the selection. Next, I'm going to talk about the brush settings when lettering. There is a streamline function on the stroke setting. It's the stabilizer. This is what it looks like when you draw with 0% streamlining. The response when drawing is pretty good, but it's sensitive when you write. If you maximize it and draw, this is what it looks like. It has a little delay, but it's smooth. You will get used to the delay, and with maximized streamline settings, you will have a better finish. Next about gesture. When you want to undo, there is a button on the bottom left but you can do a tap with two fingers to undo. If you do a three finger tap, it will redo anything you undid. If you hold a two finger tap, it will revert your canvas. And if you do the same with three fingers, it will do the opposite and show you the most recent. If you want to add colors to the lettering, Add the layer. This is the layer we'll be coloring. Choose the color you like and overlap the colors onto the canvas.
Once you're done, select the color layer and tap it. When you tap it, choose Clipping Mask. Doing so will make the colors show only on the letter areas. If you use Photoshop, you're probably familiar with Clipping Mask. It's the same function. Applying this, you can put lettering on photos. On the top left, select Add and choose Insert Photo. Choose the photo you like. I use the split view on the iPad. Pull out the photos up on the right and drag and drop for easy insertion. Tap on the photo and select Clipping Mask to clip it. You can fix the photo layer and make it bigger or smaller. You can even adjust the position. You can make the background black or change the color of the photo by changing the brightness setting and sliding the bar. That's it! I hope you enjoy altering photos and lettering. That's it for today! Thank you for watching!